Hello, friends. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome for another Japanese stationery haul video, where I'll be showing you what I got from Traveler's Factory Nakameguro, Tokyo Station, Narita Airport, and Starbucks Reserve Tokyo. Let's start with the haul. First, I got this shiny, handy DIY set, which I got from Tokyo Station. Well, aside from it's in mustard yellow. I'm really intrigued of how it works, and I really love the idea of a personalized stamp set, so I give it a go. It's quite of a challenge though in putting the letters in the stamp. They are just so tiny, but as I played around with it, I kind of get the hang of it. Next, I got the passport refill binder for my completed passport refills. It says that it can hold up to five notebooks, but it really depends on how thick your refills are once it's completed. Then I got the brass ruler, which, to be honest, I mainly use for cutting washi tapes in my spread. I got more postcards. Traveler's Factory have really nice looking postcards. Mostly they are retro style. They're really nice for a collection or for sending to friends or for wall decoration. And some of the postcards that I got, I actually sent it to myself and to some of my journaling friends. These are Traveler's Factory acrylic keychain inspired by the whole Traveler's Company world. I just got the hotel and the airline, which are the designs that I'm initially eyeing. Then I just got these two TSL patches. I already added the I Love Handmade one in my traveler's notebook. Next, I got a tote bag which has the train trip by Kokotise design. I got two brass writing instruments. First is the brass pencil in this lovely factory green color. I already have the full brass body ballpoint pen and the fountain pen, so I wanted a different product from the line. Then I saw this ballpoint pen, which I got because I love the color. It's a collaboration with Truck Furniture, which at first I have no idea who they are, but I look it up and they are, as their name suggests, a furniture store based in Osaka. I also got these roll stickers from Traveler's Factory Nakameguro. I got the nameplate on the front of a train design and the Starbucks Reserve version. Both have 70 pieces of circle stickers which you can get by pulling the separator.
Next, I just got this connecting rubber band for my passport size traveler's notebook. And I got more stickers. First, I got the Panem sticker set. It's actually my first time getting Panem related items in Traveler's Factory, and I really love this set. I also got this train letterpress sticker set. I actually bought the same before but I already used them and I just wanted to get another one. At the Traveler's Factory Airport, they gave this free letterpress airport sticker as part of their reopening which is so precious. I really love it. Oh, this is not a sticker, but I also got a Narita Airport information postcard, which is really cute. I was able to visit the airport store like 15 minutes before they closed, so I really had to quickly decide what to get. So I just grabbed stickers that I like at first sight. And I really love the selections they have. It's my first time visiting the store and I highly recommend stopping by if you have the time. I got some brass charms as well. I got the Tokyo Station version and the Airbird one, and the Starbucks Reserves charms, the Sakura, and the coffee cup. You can ask to wrap the items you want and you can choose the stickers to put on it and during the time of our visit, they released this really cute Love and Trip limited edition sticker so it was an obvious choice for me. I got this coffee table drawstring pouch in this really nice mustard yellow color. And I also got this brown cotton sling bag, which is perfect to carry for a quick trip outside. It's really light and it can hold quite a lot. The Traveler's Notebook standard size perfectly fits in this bag, with still an extra room for your pen case, your wallet, or your hand sanitizer. For the refills, I mainly got the Japan Limited or Store Limited refills. At Starbucks Reserve, I got this Passport Coffee Journal refill which at first I thought was a notebook, but there's actually a sleeve inside which you can probably use to put your ephemeras, but I'll be using it to put my collected cup sleeves if they fit.
Then I also got this really cute Nakameguro refill from Starbucks Reserve. And they actually have a map of Nakameguro inside. Then at uh, Traveler's Factory Station, I got the Traveler's Train Refill, which I personalized with the Tokyo Station stamp. It's not perfect, but I'm really happy of how it turned out. Then I also got the Train Trip from Tokyo Station Refill, which I stamped it with the Traveler's Cafe, Hotel, Train, Airlines, and Music. And at Traveler's Factory Nakameguro, I got the Tokyo Refill and the clear folder from their 2021 release and have it wrapped as well. I also got the Toyo Toolbox collaboration with Traveler's Company. We have three other sizes of these and I almost got the smallest one actually. But I just thought that this size would be more usable for me. Inside, I just put all the Traveler's Factory washi tapes that I got, including those from Starbucks Reserve collaboration. First three, I just stuck up. I still have them actually, but they are my most used from the collection, and since I already own them, I already swatched them in my swatching notebook. The rest of the washi tapes that I'll be swatching are new to my collection. I got the Panem theme, the Traveler's Railway, then washi tapes from Traveler's Airport, which I really love. I haven't seen a lot of the designs from the airport edition, so I'm really glad that I got them. This is the first wash day from the airport edition, the fly with Traveler's Air with some of Japan's tourist attractions. And this one is probably my favorite. The Narita Airport theme, which has the airport icons like the baggage claim sign, the luggages in the conveyor, the runway, immigration checks. It's so cute. And this one is the Narita Airport Information washi tape version.
Then I got the three washer tapes from Starbucks Reserve and Traverse Company collaboration. The day before our last day, they released the Superior Labor Pouch collaboration in store, so I was really excited. And it was so hard to decide what color to get, and you can only buy one. So I got the mini and olive, and I asked my husband to get the big one in blue, which I already used to house my Traveler's Notebook and Ephemeras that I collected from the trip. When I bought the mini, they were giving away this free pin and I chose this I love hand painted design in mustard color which really goes well with the olive pouch. And of course, I cannot miss this anymore. I made sure that this time around, I'll be able to get the Traverse notebooks at the Traverse factory shops in Tokyo. First, I got a Passport Traverse Notebook and my hope was to get the Starbucks Reserve Collaboration in Camel, but sadly, they don't have it during the time I visited, so I decided to just get the brown instead, which is my second option. Before I got this, I only have one Passport in my collection, and I wanted to have one for traveling and one for everyday carry. I really wanted to get a Starbucks Reserve Traveler's Notebook. It's on my list for a while now and I don't know when I'll be back in Tokyo again. So even though I didn't get a passport size in camel, I got the regular size in brown which is my second option as well. I'm planning to use the Nakamegro Starbucks refill for this and the Coffee Cup as a charm.
Next one I got at the Traveler Station, which I also asked to have it wrapped. And I still chose the Love and Drip sticker. And I think if you buy letter items, they will add a letter tag. So at Traveler Station, I got the Traveler's Notebook Station Edition, which comes in regular size and in color brown. I really love the gold foiling of the Traveler's Train, and it also says from Tokyo Station, which is really special. I actually started using this for my Japan Stationery Haul Journal. At Traveler's Airport, I also asked to wrap the items for me, and I chose the Have a Nice Trip sticker. So I got this Traveler's Passport refill, which I really love. I just feel the real passport vibe with it. And then I also got the Have a Nice Trip refill in regular size. Then, of course, the Airport Edition Traveler's Notebook, which is also in brown. It does come with the Have a Nice Trip refill. I just want to say that I'm really happy and grateful that I was able to get all this. Fun fact, I got my first Traveler's Notebook letter cover during our trip in LA like 3 years ago. And I'm really happy to be back in Tokyo and to get all these beautiful items from the Traveler's factory itself. And I do hope to go back in Kyoto to complete my Traveler's factory adventure in Japan. So yeah, that's everything that I got from the Traveler's Factory Shops, and I do hope you enjoy watching. Until the next video, bye!